here are some of my best Lynx gameplay highlights so far. And she is just such a fun hero. I mean, able to one-tap all these guys. A little bit of lag right there, but just wiped out that team. No big deal. And Reign of Arrows here, which is great for people who are trying to revive. Or, But we get the double there. Very nice. And just missed the shot there. So I thought I'd try and take her out, but didn't quite get there. And hide behind there. Able to take out the ghost in one shot. Very snazzy. And those footprints are super helpful to know where people are going. And I try and take out the angel again, but I fail. And have the short, fast attack speed on and able to wipe that hurricane out very quickly. And I take a long rate route around here just to try and make sure that the angel wasn't following me. But able to sneak up behind the mirage. I switch eight firings and one shot the angel. Just like that. Miss the first shot but take him out in the second. Launch the rain of arrows here. Unfortunately, he dodges it, and he has such a small amount of health, and I just can't seem to get rid of it. Thankfully, he didn't miss that quick flick shot on the angel. And he goes invisible, so... I th just throw some arrows down over there, see what happens. And those footprints, having that extra fourth of passive ability for her is so insane. Helps out so much for the invis characters. I would say I'm able to counter Ghost better than really any other hero with this because that extra range for footprints is so helpful and also helps out your teammates. I lost some arrows over here and I see that she has basically no health so I switch to the quick running speed firing mode and I just charge in because I know one shot will take her out. We get her down and see that guy so I kind of try and Peek behind that wall, works out excellent, and got lucky I didn't get shot by that blot. Able to take out the raven with the rain of arrows. And just kind of slow play it here, and try and flank him, and the buddy takes him out. Right here, I just kind of missing shots, but eventually, that like basically one shot that guy, which is really insane. Get a guy with the arrows, and very, very close there. Very, very close. That's the one thing about the short firing range is you definitely can miss shots. And right here, I make a calculated risk. I figured that I had the scope and I also have a couple gears that give me aim fire range. So I decided to go in for the kill there and it worked out. And right here, I should have ran off to the left, but for whatever reason, I just kind of stayed out in the open. Pretty dumb by me. And we actually went on to lose that game, which was quite unfortunate. And right here, I just tried to rush him right off the bat. So I just kind of charge in. And I just kind of wander back home, and I know that they're probably going to try and revive, so I just put a bait out, and somebody took it, and I was able to wipe them out. I switched to Fort Swart firing range here, kind of do some quick peeks, and that attack speed is really juicy. Really good damage per second. And a launch of arrow barrage right there, and that angel walks right into it. Just kind of chilling out here, and I see that those guys are pretty close, so I decided to go for the short range. Just because I know that the damage is really good. If you can get close and have all those shots hitting, your damage per second is generally going to be a lot better with that than the long range. Wipe out that ghost, and Buddy cleans it up. Do a quick peek, two shot that guy, and this was a misplay by me here. I use these arrows, and... He messes up here, he could have easily countered me while I had was on cooldown to shoot. But, I'll take it. Just kind of looking around here. See that? So I launch an arrow barrage. Able to do good damage on both of them, but they have the healing abilities, so they are able to heal up pretty quickly. And just kind of hanging out here, seeing what happens. He gets a few shots on me, but I get lucky enough not to die. Launch another arrow barrage. I take out one of them. And I try and kind of line myself up perfectly here, and I thread the needle directly into the Mr. Satoshi. One shot the Bertha. And Buddy dies to him. Might have been a bot, Buddy, I'm not sure. Launch a rain of arrows, take him out, and those footprints. So helpful to know that ghost was right there. 
So helpful. And that's another annoying thing in the update. They just added so there's a footprint on the corpses you can sometimes see. And it always makes me think that there's an invisible character there. So I really hope they patch that soon. Uh, and I'm really bad at quickly reviving somebody when there's like a sliver of time left. I need to get better at that. Launch arrows here. And he just kind of hides out in the corner there. And I wasn't sure what the best play here was, but I definitely didn't do whatever it was, whatever I should have done. Just kind of hanging out to see what happens here. Launch another arrows over there, which does actually hit the Blot, but Blot had enough armor so it didn't take him out. And I figured I could make it around here and try and flank him, but it did not work out unfortunately. I launched the arrows, but it's a little too late, and even if I did launch them, I don't think it would have worked out. And this is the gear that I used. 